Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. So you may ask the question, how is our weather connected to theirs? Well, the same system they came through here is the one that's going to explode as it heads up the East Coast and become a major nor'easter and probably bring the most significant snowfall they've seen all winter. A matter of fact, if you looked outside here earlier this evening, it looked like our most impressive snowfall of the season, but in the end only amounted to about a half an inch to an inch in most areas. Here's a live look from high atop Karoo Tower right now. Things are quiet and it is a cold night. Check out radar behind me. We're now on a clean sweep. All the snow is long gone. You can see here quickly over the past hour, it even exited our easternmost communities off to the east of Highway 62. Now the snow is over with and we are done with snow for the remainder of the week around here. Temperatures tonight. Boy, we lucked out this evening because that snow came down at a really heavy clip for a period of time there. But because temperatures were above freezing and due to our recent warm spell, most of it did not manage to accumulate on the roadways. Temperatures stayed above freezing during the duration of the event. The problem now is that we're beginning to slip below freezing. And while many of the grounds are still quite warm, I think the major roads will be fine in the morning. However, as temperatures fall back into the low and mid 20s, you're going to have to watch the bridges and over passes all the time. I keep thinking to myself as you're driving along the road, you see those signs that say bridges may ice up first. That's the kind of thing you should think about tomorrow morning for the start of your commute. Temperatures will be in the mid 20s. I don't foresee widespread travel issues, but if you run across anything that still looks wet, you just probably are safer off imagining that it's probably a little slick out there. So right now we're at 31 officially at the airport, but look at that north wind at 20 gives us a wind chill of 19 outside. Here's a look at the current weather map. There's the storm system tonight bypassing us to our south. And because we were to the north of this particular system, the past several systems have traveled to our north. We were on the colder side, hence we had snow. High pressure is now going to build in for the remainder of the week here, at least until the weekend before things change. So here's a look at future casts. Skies will stay cloudy overnight tonight. Expect cold winds to still be blowing in the morning when you wake up. We'll gradually clear the skies out throughout the day. I do think we'll see a little bit of sun, especially the second half of the afternoon. But boy, I tell you what, that is going to set us up for a very cold night tomorrow night. Clear skies, light winds, any residual snow on the ground. Temperatures will likely drop into the mid teens Friday morning. Then expect lots of sunshine on Friday. Some high cloud cover scooting by here, but our winds are going to switch around back to the south and temperatures are going to start a major rebound heading into the weekend for us. So for tonight, we'll drop to around 24 by morning. Again, wind chills will be anywhere between about 10 and 15 to start tomorrow. 30, that's here at midnight. During the day tomorrow, our temperatures probably won't really recover out of the 20s after some clouds to start, some sun by afternoon. So 24 at 8 a.m., 25 at lunchtime, and you can see what I mean here, how we kind of hover for a very cold February day in the middle and upper 20s. So here we are tomorrow night. We drop down to 12 for an overnight low, but then we start our rebound during the day on Friday. During the day on Friday, we'll be in the 30s. It'll be one of those scenarios where we keep climbing Friday night through the 40s and up to around 60 by Saturday and then mid 60s on Sunday. The only downside to the weekend forecast is that we'll probably have some showers in here on Saturday. Saturday doesn't look like a washout and actually looks like the drier of the two days over the weekend, but Sunday is certainly looking wet. Kevin, thank you. So Thursday and Friday should be a reminder. Did you bring your boots with the fur with the fur? <laughs> the worst part is <laughs> <laughs> tonight I have open toed shoes on. <laughs> I clearly, sorry, Kevin, wasn't listening to your forecast. Not listening last to the night. forecast.